yes, uh, good evening, good evening. Uh, it's a pleasure and a privilege to have in front of me Mr. Hub Ruel. I have a challenge with getting names correctly, so forgive me. Uh, did I pronounce it okay? Oh, perfect. Okay, perfect. Great. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, my name is Clive. I'm just, we, we're just going to pretty much have a a one-on-one -on, -one on, on, on who you are, you know, where, where you are in the society to, per se, and what are you doing here in Suriname. But let's just tell us first a little bit about yourself, um, where you're from, family, friends, you know, let's... Uh, great. Thank you. Yeah, I'm from Netherlands, actually from the city of Enschede, that means that where I live. Um, I do have a family, I'm married to Tanya, she's uh, actually from St. Petersburg, born and raised over there, came to Netherlands in the 90s. We met at the University of Twente, where we were both then doing our PhDs, and we got a relationship, you know, and then uh, we got married, and we're still married, we got two daughters, a twin, identical twins, and uh, uh, yeah, that's a bit my private side, yeah. Perfect, perfect. So tell us a little bit now about your business side, you know, what do you do? I'm a uh, professor of international business. That means um, I'm teaching international business um, as a discipline, as a field, and I'm researching international business. I'm doing that for the Hospitality Business School in The Hague and for the University of Twente, which is based in um, uh, Enschede, the most entrepreneurial university of the Netherlands, by the way. Just a bit of marketing and the Hospitality Business School in The Hague <laughs> is the best hospitality business school in the Netherlands and the world. That anyway, okay. uh, just for the joke, I mean, just for the sake of it, That's thank you. Um, but I'm teaching international business, that means teaching on how businesses internationalize, how they build relationships uh, in foreign countries and then establish business relationships to, um, uh, to, 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 to export, but also to import, to invest, etc. Um, and I'm researching that as well. So my research focuses on how businesses uh, can work on establishing those business relationships abroad um, together even with uh, government agents and agencies uh, because international business is pretty much a thing where business and government need to work together. Very much, very much, very much. It is, it is, it is amazing though, um, but I, I, I believe everybody is, what's on their mind is why are you in Suriname? What brings you to the beautiful country of Suriname? Exactly. I mean, as you put it, it's first of all, it, it, it's, it's, it's a country where I would say like everybody should have visited Suriname once um, and I should have come much earlier because unfortunately I have to say this is my first time, but I should have come wow. much, much earlier. Uh, the country has so much to offer. It's, 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 it's beautiful in terms of wildlife, the people, the culture. Uh, the, 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 it's, it's really, it's, it's loads of potential. Uh, and what brings me here is that I'm teaching for the, uh, for the FHR Institute, um, which has an MBA program together with the Master's School of Management on Corporate Strategy and Economic Policy. And I'm teaching there a course, Corporate Restructuring. Okay, okay. Right, tell me uh, um, a little bit on um, the Corporate Restructuring. And um, you said, you mentioned earlier that you are researching tourism. Um, can you just give us a little bit more on your research of tourism and how Suriname, you know, is, where, where, where is Suriname in terms of what your research has come up with? Um, what I did with, with tourism was um, I'm very much working with the concept that I call nation branding. Uh, yes, of course, as a country, you need to have a tourism uh, sector, entrepreneurs that, you know, that really know what, what tourists potential tourists may would like to and, and, and would like to, to experience. But secondly, you need to, to, to also to work as a country, as a government together with business on a nation branding strategy. Because in the end, tourists, you may have a good tourism infrastructure, but you need to position yourself in that tremendous competitive international tourism market. And, um, and, and that needs a nation branding strategy, how to position yourself, what are the 
uh, unique features that Suriname wants to bring, a, you know, get across to the international audience to and, and where tourists, potential tourists should think like, hey, this is the destination that I at to least, be, yeah, right. to be there, yes, yeah. Yes. But you've, you've, while we were talking earlier, you mentioned CARICOM and how um, we can utilize the concept of CARICOM, us being a part of CARICOM here in Suriname to brand uh, Suriname in general. Can you um, elaborate on that for the audience? Definitely. CARICOM can be used very much as a source for uh, Suriname to, to, to learn from or to um, share ideas uh, within the CARICOM a community, there are nations that have a tremendous good brand, just to mention one, Jamaica, for example. Yes, awesome. You know, so it would be so useful for Suriname to, to, to share with a country like Jamaica, but other partners as well, to, to learn like how those countries are working on uh, their brands, whether they, yeah, and, and what, what kind of strategies or techniques or tactics they're using. So CARICOM would be very much a very good source to, to, to develop the tourism and to get inspired by and to learn from to develop tourism in, in, in Suriname. Well, on that level, um, you know, when we look at uh, tourism here in Suriname, in comparison to me from Jamaica, you know, it, it, it's really different. How, however, you've, how, how many days you've spent here? Uh, unfortunately, only 10 days. Only 10 days. It, it, I think it's enough to really can paint for us a picture of based on what you see, what you've experienced here in Suriname, and maybe give us a basic idea of how, based on your experience, your knowledge, how we can improve it, you know. Now, what I've experienced during the, the past 10 days, because I'll be leaving, unfortunately, uh, too yeah. soon, <laughs> right. um, that's... Um, now, first of all, what you think is, is like it's a beautiful country. It has so much to offer in terms of uh, nature, wildlife, the people, the culture. Paramaribo with its, you know, with its flavor, with the food, the Suriname food. The kitchen, you know, I'm from Netherlands. I always tend to sell the Dutch kitchen as the, one of the poorest in the world, so to speak. So I think the food in Suriname is, 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 is tremendously great. And, 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 and also the, what, what the world could learn from Suriname is maybe cultural diversity. I mean, the different people that, you, you know, that, so right. that, yeah. that live together, that, that build a country together, that, that, that is really amazing. That could be a, a, a lesson for other countries, like, hey, this is how you do it. You yes, know, yes. And different relig uh, religions, different flavors, and it all just it goes fits, along. It, it blends, it works. Yeah, it's yeah. perfect. So those are things perhaps that Suriname should try to, to, to sell to the world to say like, hey, this is how we do it and we seem to manage. Right, right. I, I, I really look forward to that <laughs> day when, when the world know more about Suriname because it, as you say, it really has a lot to offer. But in terms of, I was pretty much going through your LinkedIn profile and I noticed that you are, you are an author. Yes. Uh, in terms Thank of you. books, I, I see quite a number of books that your name was um, attached to. Can you tell me a little bit more about that side of your, 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 your life? Um, recently, just recently, I, I, a new book of mine uh, got published, uh, which is on international business diplomacy. What is international business diplomacy? International business diplomacy is about how businesses, especially the bigger ones today, actually play a role as they are uh, uh, government actors. Uh, think about the Googles and the Amazons and those kind of guys. You know, they really are very powerful and inf influential. And some countries uh, really invite those CEOs as, you know, as their leaders of heads of government. Um, and that's what businesses need to realize and also need to uh, use and, and uh, become aware of in the sense that because that can also play against them. Like Google is influential but also builds you know tends to increase on its negative image as dominating right, as right, right. doing the wrong thing whereas google once said you know something like uh, doing the right thing only yeah, but this is how it started off but now nah. and and that's a key thing for businesses nowadays to show like hey we are genuinely trying to not only go for the profit but in the end contribute to the community at large and to, to the, all those stakeholders involved uh, because once businesses grow from small to big, they really have an impact, 
not only on their shareholders, but for the community. The community. Uh, so that's what international business diplomacy is about. And for Suriname, for example, it could uh, help businesses in Suriname to, to realize how to work on their, um, call it image, uh, abroad. Um, Perhaps, uh, like I'm from Netherlands, uh, Dutch businessmen sometimes may have this image of being very much too direct, too much on the, 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 the business deal, the quick wins, rather than trying to invest in the long term. Similar things could count for Suriname businessmen uh, or the Suriname business community uh, that people around the world don't know actually what Suriname has to offer, what Suriname business community has to offer. They may only have certain kind of connotations. So business diplomacy, getting yourself out there, showing that you're genuinely uh, trying to contribute to a better world, that's uh, th things that, that there are in that book. Okay. The other book is that I, a few years ago, published was Commercial Diplomacy. Commercial Diplomacy is about a, building a strategy, business community together with the government on how to sell your business community, how to build relationships yeah. with uh, countries abroad. Yes, countries around the world have diplomatic relationship, but having a good business relationship is a different thing. For example, Suriname and, and Jamaica within the CARICOM. Yes, those countries have diplomatic relationships, and, 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 but to... to yeah, the business yeah, aspect of it. That, so, and that's pretty much what I put in, 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 in that, that book, and with me a number of authors, because it was an edited book, so I'm very thankful for, for all those guys who contributed to that book. As we go close, grow closer to the end, um, I, for 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 us at this television network, we'd really like to we really like to reach out to the business community, the 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 entrepreneurs, those persons who um, would like to start a new business or would like to even venture outside of Suriname to to to, to start their own business. What advice, you know, based on your knowledge and experience, would you really reach out? to the business community, the young people who want to try business today? Yeah. Um, what I would say, like, in today's world, uh, it, it really, you know, the word startup really, you know, and, and inter disruptives, that those have been the buzzwords uh, already for a number of years. And it sounds like, yeah, but perhaps, you know, Suriname and startups and, but it's all there. I, I really, every day uh, since I'm here, I've met people who are very much entrepreneurial, have a very smart sense of what's going on in the world, very good an analysis of what, what perhaps should improve in Suriname to, 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 to make to, it better. Yeah, to make it better. So the talent is there. Um, so, but please uh, keep on pushing that talent, develop the talent, invest in, 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 in that and, and inspire young people and, and entrepreneurs should. And, and, but you always need a, an, an environment that also supports it. Um, and in that respect, I would say uh, that uh, you know the business community, together with the government, should, could improve on its economic environment uh, to make it more attractive for uh, businesses from abroad to say, like, hey, but Suriname is actually a great destination to invest in, um, and 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 because those things together and having the talents and keep on developing the talents, educating the talents, and building a better stronger economic environment yeah that i mean those two things are the ingredients for a for, su for the success yeah, of each and yeah, every one of definitely, us definitely yeah I, I really want to thank you so much um personally i've learned I, i've really learned a lot you know however i um would like to really really thank you for being here with us um we look forward to you bringing the family here to enjoy the Suriname culture and again um thank you so much thank you